Okay, so we passed inspection uh, today. This morning we passed inspection. And uh, let me show you guys kind of what it looks like here and uh, what we got going on. So as you see, here's our footings. I'm probably gonna put a piece of plywood right here so I don't have to pour all that concrete. But here's our footings. This isn't nearly as enough concrete, but I kind of set up 10 bags per footing. And so let's walk it here. I set this up right here to show the homeowners because we're going to change the column size around. It does, it's, it's not going to be block, it's going to be framed out with a post and beam kind of method and then boxed out. And uh, so they weren't sure what size of column to make. So I just kind of, they wanted 8 by 18 and it's hard for them to visualize it. So I just went kind of ahead and made it for them so they can see what their columns are going to look like. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably get another pallet of concrete and a mixer. And I'm going to do three different pours, so it's not going to be monolithic, it's going to be three different pours. The reason being, my where the column going has to be above uh, three and a half or four inches up above this, and it calls for a half inch gap with that cork board or whatever it is, that half inch gap. So the only way I can do that <clears throat> is by pouring my footing and then putting rebar up, pouring my column base. <clears throat> attaching my board around the column base and then finishing the last pour and making it nice and all the strength and structure will go right into here so you know the load goes down into the footing and then this just looks pretty so that's kind of what I'm doing I'm probably gonna drill some rebar like maybe two quarter inch sticks or something um, number twos something small and then yeah that's how it's gonna be so I want to give you guys an update I'll be pouring tomorrow morning have a good day